Hey guys, Django Fed here. So today is the day that Knights of the Republic 2 The Sith Lords is coming out on the Switch. So you're probably wondering why the heck am I talking about it other than to gush over Knights of the Republic 2. It also has something special behind it. So first, Knights of the Republic 2 is coming out on the Switch, which is awesome. Going to be done by Asper, who did the amazing ports behind the Android and iOS versions for Coder 1 and 2, which are just fantastic they work so well on the phone surprisingly uh, but they're going to put the same version on the switch which is nothing crazy but they have this crazy thing behind it where they're adding the restored content mod as free dlc with this game blows my freaking mind man so it's available for 15 dollars if you want to get it or 30 dollars if you want to get the bundle with coder 1 and coder 2 but Asper Media does it again, man, and they've been releasing Coder 1 and Coder 2 and putting out, you know, Republic Commando, Force Unleashed. They've done a great job with all of these ports, so compliments to them, man. They've done just a phenomenal job with these ports, and, you know, hopefully they do the Steam version of Coder 1. I, that still needs to be done. But Coder 2 is coming out on the Switch, and it's including free DLC. I mean, the restored content mod, which should be built into the game. It's a fan-made mod. But the fact that it is DLC for the Switch when it releases is phenomenal. That's just an awesome thing and more for people who maybe have not played Coder 2 or um, have not you know, played the restored content mod. This is the definitive way to do it because you can do it on Steam. You can get it through the Steam Workshop pretty easily. However, if you want to get it through anywhere else like PlayStation or Xbox, you're not going to be able to do it. So Switch is the only console at this moment to have the restored content mod, which is the definitive way to play the game. That's the only way to play the game, Coder 2, with the restored content mod. If you don't play with the restored content mod, you're getting an inferior experience. You're not getting the complete package, and it's a completely different game. It's so much better as I've done in my live stream in the past with Lightside. And I can't wait to get this game again. And you know, play it on the Switch, play it on the go, and play it through the dark side and see how it differs, and it will, radically, for sure. So I'm excited. It's coming out by the time I release this video. It's out right now, so if you haven't already, go get this on the Switch, and you're going to get the restored content mod as DLC. This is kind of unprecedented as something as a mod, but it, the fact that it's also DLC and it's going to be built in the game, just blows my freaking mind or it's coming out later i guess whatever it is i think that's awesome either way so i'm excited for it i can't wait for this and i should be getting it right now as should you